I've often heard people say that the first third of your life you're, you're growing up and getting educated, the second third of your, your life you're raising kids, you're, you're developing your career, and the, the last third of your life you are wise enough to want to give back and able to give back. And um, maybe I had a bell go off when I was 50, but I realized that I had developed a good set of skills as a lawyer and that I was involved in all the headbutting that comes with litigation and an adversarial system. And I wasn't doing what I had originally hoped to do, which is to get involved in more public interest environmental areas. I see the number one concern right now to be greenhouse gas rising. And as a result, everything flows from that. If the way many climatologists, I think 97%, of the climatologists agree that we have a major problem. And if you listen to some of the foremost scientists, such as Dr. James Hansen, then you'll realize we're either at a tipping point or we passed a tipping point. And when the oceans can no longer absorb the carbon dioxide, as they have been, thus blunting our perception of the problem so far, the ship that is moving right now needs to be turned. You can't turn it fast enough. It's like a Titanic. You can't stop it once you come to realize there's an iceberg ahead. For the last four and a fraction years, I've been heavily involved with two things. One, taking a long-term environmental interest and analyzing what we might do as a society on a whole variety of, of uh, in a whole variety of areas. And second, what can we do to create jobs. Fee and dividend is a concept that the Citizens Climate Lobby has been advocating for the last few years. And the idea is to have a revenue neutral fee placed on carbon and a dividend or a green check or rebate, whatever you'd like to call it, in which all of the monies raised are actually returned to all households. Over a 10 year period, there's a steady ramping up of a fee placed on carbon intensive products. $15 per ton. Now, by the way, in the early years, $15 per ton would translate to about 15 cents per gallon of gas in, an, in terms of an increased price. So within 10 years of the steady ramping up of a carbon fee, you would place renewables on an equal playing field with fossil fuels. The fees are charged at the place where the carbon comes into our economy, at the wellhead, at the mine, at the port of entry for imports. This makes it very easy to implement. The IRS makes the collection. It doesn't depend on a company to, in good faith, report how much it's polluting. And as a result, you will have a massive shift in the consumer's tastes and the products that they decide to buy. You will also have a dramatic signal sent to the entrepreneurs who will see many, many opportunities and also find their ability to get financing much enhanced because it now looks as if their product could be competitive. 60 to 70 percent of the households either make money or break even. So it's, it's progressive. The folks who have the least to spend on an additional uh, fee resulting in, from the uh, carbon price raise will actually have an opportunity to make money. Those, by contrast, who consume more carbon products will pay more for it. For countries that do not have an equivalent carbon fee, we would charge our fee at the border on our import. If we were to do that, then that country that exported, say India, would say, wait a minute, we want to collect that ourselves. And if India were to charge an equivalent carbon fee, we would not collect any fee at our border. So if you were to think about, let's get off of fossil fuels, you get all sorts of benefits. Think about mountain topping, the removal of, of mountain tops to gain access to coal. Think about the mercury point poisoning, the arsenic that comes out of coal. Think about the coal sludge that sometimes breaks 
levees or their containment ponds and contaminates whole towns, as happened a few years ago. Can you imagine clean air? Can you imagine how nice that would be? How quiet it would be also if we're on electric vehicles or some other uh, non-combustion based uh, vehicles? Can you imagine how clean our waters will be? I call it the, the zen of simplicity to implement a carbon fee to change the market fundamentally.